So this question tells us that, you know, six is less than X, which is less than seven. Another way to read that is that X is between six and seven, right? X is between six and seven is how I prefer to look at it. And then we're told that Y actually equals eight. So quantity A here is X divided by Y. So I'm gonna just use something that I call plug in your own number. I don't know exactly what X is, but let's just say it's right in between. So let's say it's six and a half, right? So X over Y would be 6.5 over eight. And let's see what happens if I put that in my calculator, which you can't see, but you, you know, obviously on the GRE, you'd have your calculator on screen with you. When I divide 6.5 by eight, I get 0 0.8125, right? And that's obviously less than 0 0.85, but I have to keep in mind, I made this number up, right? I chose it because it does fit what the question told me, but I literally made it up. So I'm gonna say, well, you know, can I get larger than this? Um, with an X value. Well, the largest X value I could use, I'm gonna say is six point, let's call it 6.9, let's go three digits, right? 6.999, right? So let's see what happens if I use X equals 6.999 divided by eight and go to my calculator, 6.999 divided by eight equals 0 0.8748, blah, blah, blah. So that's, that is larger, right? So that X value makes it larger. So with this situation, I think the answer must be the relationship cannot be determined, right? Because when X is halfway between, it's smaller. But when X is, you know, really close to seven, it's larger, right? So, you know, because we don't know what X is, it could be either or, and therefore the relationship cannot be determined from the given information.